Hey, hey, it's Candace. I'm a London travel blogger and influencer, and today I'm taking you on a day in the life. So I've always been super curious about what influencers actually do before I became an influencer, but now I realize there's so much behind the scenes work that goes into it. So really excited to take you along. Today I have to meet a friend to shoot content here in London. Then we're gonna do a co-working sesh. Also have to get back to a bunch of emails. I have to edit my last um, brand campaign from 2021 and then I have to do some more pitches for 2022 because marketing budgets have restarted for quarter one, which is always a good thing. So yeah, let's get into the day. So first things first, I start with some gratitude for the day. I think writing out what you're grateful for and focusing on what's going well in your life is a really good way to start the day. Then I work out, get ready, and go over my to-do list for the day. Okay, so I wish I could show you the view right now, but you know, privacy, I think it'd be very easy to tell where I live if you saw the view, but the weather is looking good, which is always a super important thing to be aware of in London as an influencer because the weather is not the best and so as soon as the weather's good i'm like i need to get content um so the weather's looking good so that's good so just gonna make some coffee do my emails and some other bits and then i'm gonna go out for the content shoot hmm. i love coffee so much Okay, so now that I have my coffee and my breakfast, I am going to go into my emails and my first thing of the day I have to do is make edits for the campaign content. So I sent out um, the final draft for a campaign I did and usually when you send through the final content, they come back with edits and saying little things like, oh, well, can you add this or can you make sure you say this? Um, so I did that for a campaign. I'm just going to go back, see what edits that he wants done. Um, and then I'm going to do that and send that through. So yeah, I'm also going to eat my breakfast, which I feel like it's not a good thing to eat your breakfast and do work. Um, I used to try watching YouTube videos in the morning while I was eating breakfast, but then I feel like I just never um, stopped watching YouTube videos. And it'd be like an hour later, so. Mm. Now I just eat and work. Okay, so I just finished the campaign edits. That took me about 20 minutes, which is really, really good. Usually, or not usually, but sometimes brands send through this whole list of like, we want you to change this, and we want you to change this, and we want you to change this, and you're like, oh my goodness, this is gonna take me more time than it took me to create the content. Um, but that is just the nature of working with brands, so is what it is. But yeah, they were very reasonable requests, so all good with that. Now I am going to respond or re-email um, two hotels that I was planning to work with in December of 2021 but then things got postponed with the holidays and so I'm planning to do stays this month so I need to email them and then it is time to film my Instagram content. Okay, is that good? I think that's good. Okay, so I am in my room. I love the light in my room and yeah i just love doing stuff in my room so back in my room and now i'm gonna film a quote of the day so on my instagram every day i post a quote i love quotes i literally have like a huge binder full of quotes and then one day i was like why don't i put these on my instagram story so i've been doing quote of the days now for jesus almost since april 2020 which is crazy so yeah i love my quote of the day so i'm gonna do that now film that then make a TikTok, and I'm really excited because I'm going to show you guys how I go through all the sounds that I've saved and then try and find if I can relate it to my niche in a TikTok, so that'll be really fun. We need everyone to do their own unique thing to help the world because that's the only way. Julianne Ho. We need everyone to do their own unique thing to help the world because that's the only way. I love that quote. Okay, so now I'm just going to film. Quote of the day. We need everyone in the world to do their own unique thing because that's the only way. Julianne Ho. Okay, cool. So it just looks like that on Instagram. Because that's the only way. Julianne Ho. Oh, of the day. Cool. We need everyone in the world to do their own. 
Okay, so I've just saved that and now I'm going to go into Canva and just quickly pop that in and then I'm gonna upload it to my Instagram stories along with a few photos of London for the day. So what else I'm gonna do now is respond to comments. So usually I'll post in the evening of the day before and then I will comment the next day. So if I post at 6 p.m. on a Monday, I'll stay on for maybe like a half hour and engage and then I log off social media for the day and then I will respond to all the comments and stuff usually the next day. I know I could spend like an hour or two hours like making sure I see all the comments, but ain't nobody got time for that. So I just do it. Oh, so I just do it the next day. So yeah, I posted a photo yesterday and I'm just gonna respond to the comments, so. Okay, and last thing I'm gonna do is go through my DMs. So I typically get maybe about 20 DMs a day, up to 20 a day, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through all of those and answer. Another thing I've learned too, sorry that's the train. <laughs> Another thing I've learned too is not to feel the obligation to answer every DM. I used to do I used to be one of those people that would answer literally everything I would get asked, and then I realized like I don't have to do that. So yeah. Now I kind of only stick to answering the genuine questions. Um, and also answering questions from people that take the time to actually follow me. Sometimes people just will message me questions about London like I'm Google or Wikipedia and like not even say hi or follow me or anything and I'm just like that is not my job. So it's all done and now I'm going to make a TikTok. So really excited to show you guys my process for this. So first things first, I'm just gonna literally open TikTok. Actually, I'm not gonna scroll through because I'm gonna get distracted. I have all of these sounds that I save and then I like to go to them and see if I can fit them in my niche. So for example, I have all of these sounds and let's just listen to a few. And you kind of have to, you kind of have to also watch the video for context, like I actually forget what that one was, so it's like, but you have to watch the video and kind of see what the trend is. So for example, if there's a sound where someone like realizes something that they should have realized before and like the sound is to that, then you would just apply that to you realizing something about your niche that you didn't realize before, if that makes sense. So let's play a few more. <laughs> There's so many sounds. Okay, I'm gonna go through all of these and I'll come back to you guys <laughs> after. It's also just addicting to just TikTok is just a little bit addicting, so I'll come back to you soon. Okay, so I found the sound that I want to use. I actually found this a while ago and I wanted to use it, but I couldn't think of, I don't know, I just left it in my saved folder, but now that I'm listening to it, I'm like, okay, it has to be this. I'm gonna play it for you. It's this one. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Okay, so I have to think of something that has to do with London and apply it to this, maybe like tourist mistakes. Okay, I think I have, I think I have something. I think I'm gonna do like, like when you're supposed to do X thing in London and you don't do it, like something that tourists do. So let me just think about something that tourists do in London. That's like not a good thing. I'll be back. Okay, I thought of something. I'm gonna do Americans on the tube. So there's this huge stereotype, which is kind of true, that Americans are really, really loud, um, especially on the tube. So like you'll be on a tube and you'll hear an American, it's just like all you can hear. Of course I'm American, so maybe I'm part of the problem. But anyways, I'm gonna make a TikTok slash reel, I'll post it on my Instagram reel, if someone like on the tube 
and they'll be American, and they'll be talking, and then everyone will go, no, no, no. So I'm really excited to do that because I think it'll be really fun to make. So I'm just gonna get, um, I'm gonna use the green screen thing, and I'm just gonna download um, or get some pictures of London for the background, get some pictures of the tube, and then I'm going to film that. Um, and yeah, I'll let you know how it's going in a little bit. Hey, hey. Okay, this is me and my alter ego, but I just wanted to show you. So I filmed myself on the green screen on Instagram, then I saved that clip, and so now I'm filming on green screen again so I can film two of me. So I did that version of me, but I'll just do an example. Hello, him here. Okay. Hello, here. So you can see now there's two of me. Cool, hey? Okay, so now I'm going to film the other version of me, which will be the American version, um, and then the TikTok will all come together and you'll see exactly what I mean um, and see the idea come to life. So really excited. Now I'm gonna turn to the American version of me, which is just me. <laughs> Okay guys, so now I'm in my American outfit and I filmed it. The volume's not on yet, but so this might look a little bit awkward, but it's gonna be like when Americans are on the tube and I'm gonna add the audio, so it'll be really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pop this into InShot. I love using InShot to edit all my reels and TikToks and then I just put them on the platform and add the text and whatever in app. Um, I don't know if it's true or not. I feel like when it comes to like the social media tips or things, um, sometimes they're right and sometimes they're not, so I don't really take them too seriously, but I did hear that, you know, when you use the in, um, app features, like using the text in TikTok and using the text in Instagram, um, it's better for the algorithm, so I do do that, but I physically edit it on InShot, so you can see I just popped it in here, I'm gonna add the audio myself, um, and just make sure it matches up and do all the cropping and stuff, and then that is set. Um, then I'm gonna get ready to go to the content shoot with my friend Liv. So I will see y'all on the tube and then in Notting Hill. I'm so excited. I haven't been to Notting Hill in a while, so super excited. I might even stay in this outfit. I don't know if I should wear this or the blazer that I was wearing before. I really like this hat, so, um, I'm thinking, I don't know. You'll see later. <laughs> Okie dokie, so I am with Hi. Liv and we are in Notting Hill doing a content shoot. Um, yeah, not much else to say. Let's go around Notting Hill. <laughs> so when it comes to content shoots, I don't really plan too much. Definitely a bad influencer on that front, but I always pick an area I want to shoot for the day and then just walk around, especially living in a city like London. There's so many hidden streets and pretty spots that you wouldn't necessarily find on Instagram. So I just tend to like to take pictures where I feel inspired to do so. This is also how I find a lot of the hidden gems that I put on my blog. So yeah, we just shot for one hour and after the shoot, we picked up some quick lunch from m and and did a co-working sesh for a bit in Notting Hill. Hey, hey, so it is the next day. After the content shoot, we went to the co-working space that you saw and then I worked on a blog post. I posted the Instagram post and I posted the TikTok and then engaged for a bit. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got to, I don't know, just kind of see more of the behind the scenes of being an influencer content creator. And I hope you subscribe for more tips on just, well, my life being a London travel blogger, content creation tips, influencer tips, vlogging tips, all that jazz. It'll be here. All right, hope you have a great day. That's all from me. Cheers, bye.